So the implantable contact lens from STAR, called the ICL, is an amazing tool for uh, some of our patient population. So this, this is a technology I love because it's totally additive. We are not taking anything away from the patient. We are just simply slipping a lens inside of the eye. And this lens is incredibly robust. It can treat very high levels of nearsightedness and astigmatism. So the procedure takes uh, about 10 to 15 minutes for both eyes. And it is not a difficult thing for patients to go through. And talk about life-changing. These are the prescriptions where they're Coke bottle thick. And these are the patients that were told their whole life that you're not a candidate for LASIK. It's an exciting technology. If your prescription is too high to safely perform LASIK or PRK, a great alternative is ICL, or implantable columnar lens. It's a thin lens that is implanted into the eye, just in front of your own crystalline lens, but behind the colored part of your eye, the iris. So it's like wearing a contact in your eye, and it's permanent, and only will be removed when it's time for cataract surgery. To be a good candidate for ICL, you must have either nearsightedness and or astigmatism. You typically won't be a good candidate for LASIK or PRK, and you desire freedom from glasses and contacts. The ICL lenses are customized to each patient. We choose a power of lens after determining your prescription and send it to the company that manufactures these lenses just for you. The day of surgery, things are gonna be a little blurry. Uh, the pupil is dilated to perform this surgery, so when your pupils are dilated, things are not perfectly clear. After the numbing wears off, patients will experience a little irritation, a little stinging, a little burning, a little light sensitive, it is all normal, nothing severe. We suggest to the patient that they go home and take a nap, because if they sleep, they're going to sleep through kind of the worst of the irritation. But the next morning, we expect the patient to wake up, be comfortable in visual functioning, meaning driving vision, reading vision, going to work vision. That's our expectation for the one day post-op. So after you have an ICL procedure, you may have a little bit of residual refractive error or prescription, meaning nearsightedness or astigmatism. If that's blurring your vision, LASIK can then be performed. You may have been told that you weren't a good LASIK candidate, but that was mostly because your prescription was too high. Prescription amount after ICL would be very small, and LASIK or PRK could typically be performed very safely to sharpen the vision further. There is no obstruction to uh, us checking the health of the eye once an ICL is inserted. Uh, the ICL, it literally just sits there. It doesn't move. Um, it's just in a position that is in a safe area of the eye and it does not obstruct our view. It does not prevent us from dilating a patient or examining a patient after that. But everybody, if you live long enough, gets a cataract. And star ICL patients will go on to have cataract changes as they age. And when a cataract is visually significant is when it's addressed surgically. So, the star ICL will be slipped out of the eye, the cataract will then be removed, and the patient will get another lens implant, that's what we do with cataract surgery, and that, those lenses also correct nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism.